Good morning, this is Rashad Mitchell. Come to live from my YouTube channel I continue on my part series on this day in black music history. Now I'm in the month of August. Obviously today is July 8th, but it's the month of August. According to this uh, black music month, excuse me, black music history series. So August 1st, the number one R&B song on August 1st was in 1960 by Jackie Wilson, who made a song called A Woman, A Lover, A Friend by Jackie Wilson on August 1st, 1960. That was the number one R&B song, A Woman, A Lover, A Friend by Jackie Wilson. On August 1st, 1953, Joe by Harry of Los Angeles' Flair Records signed a team quintet from LA's Jefferson High School and named them the Flares. They included Cornelius Gunter, later of the Coasters, Richard Berry, later of Louis Louis fame. August 1st, 1953. The Royals charted with um, their first single, Get It, an eventual um, number six R&B hit. Within a year, they would be known as Hank Ballard the Midnighters. August 1st, 1960. Aretha Franklin recorded her first secular songs upon signing with Columbia Records. This was included over the rainbow. Today I sing the blues. Right now, love is the answer. She was 18, but had begun recording gospel music at 14 for Checker Records of Chicago. August 1st, 1960, when the originally scheduled vocalist didn't show, producers Ike, Ike Turner took his 22-year-old wife, Tina, Tina, excuse me, Tina, recorded her on a Fool in Love, which was released today, on that day, August 1st. It rose to number 27 and became the first of 20 Hot 100 hits for the volatile couple. Yeah, that's what it was about in August 1st, 1960. The originally scheduled vocals didn't show. Producer Ike Turner took his 22-year-old wife, Tina Turner, recorded her on a Fool in Love, which was released on August 1st, 1960. It rose to number 27 became the first of 20 Hot 100 hits for the volatile couple. August 1st, 1969, B.B. King performed in front of more than 110,000 fans at the Atlantic City Pop Festival in Atlantic City, New Jersey, along with Jefferson Airplane, The Birds, The Credence Clearwater Revival. August 1st, 1987, the rap trio Salt and Pepper's debut album Hot, Cool, and Vicious. Charted reaching number 26, it lingered on the top 200 for more than a year, finally going platinum in 1988. Next, August 1st, 1997, Wyclef John, Aaliyah, Salt and, Salt and Pepper, Jenny Wine, and Black Street, among others, performed at the Summer Jam concert in George Washington. Wow. And finally, on a sad note, on August 1st, actually 20 years ago, August 1st, 2000, William Roscoe Mercer, a legendary disc jockey known as Roscoe, died at the age of 73. He was the first black DJ in Los Angeles for KBLA and the first black announcer, the news announcer on WINS in New York. He passed on 20 years ago, August 1st, 2000. William Roscoe Mercer, legendary disc jockey. Known as Roscoe, passed at age 73, he was the first black DJ in LA, Los Angeles, and the first black news announcer on WINS in New York. So that concludes a look at part 123 of On This Day in Black Music History. Talking about the events most that took place on August the 1st of the African Black Music History. Please like, subscribe to the channel, comment, do whatever you can, support the channel. This is Rashad Mitchell. Till then, talk to you.